<laughs> that's not the texture that I was expecting for some reason. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Today we were doing a shop with me video, which I'm super excited about because it's been a while since I've been able to do shop with me videos. And those are some of my favorite videos to make and some of you guys' favorite videos to watch. Today we are at Trader Joe's, which I guess is not really that exciting when I say that out loud. Trader Joe's, if you don't know or if you don't have them in your area, I think they're pretty national, um, but it's a grocery store, but they carry like a lot of artisanal organic but like affordable but like honestly i'm not even quite sure because even though there's a trader joe's where i live it's there's not one really close to me and it just isn't like my top grocery store that i like grew up going to so i've honestly only been to trader joe's I would say maybe three times in my whole entire life. This is not a store that I normally shop at. I don't know why. I guess maybe because it's not the closest one. I need to expand my, my grocery shopping. But yeah, so we're at Trader Joe's because what made me think about it is the fact that it's so trendy online right now. Like on TikTok, on Instagram, on Pinterest, everywhere I'm seeing like Trader Joe's favorites must have items specifically from Trader Joe's. Like the Trader Joe's in-house branded stuff is apparently really good and there's a lot of like cult favorites that people just swear by that I have literally never tried, never heard of, don't know anything about the Trader Joe's hype. So today we are going to investigate. All right, so we are in the store. They are very much so still in pandemic mode. So this is a little hard to film oh but this salad dressing is one of the things that people always talk about this actually one? both of wait i got this one it was okay yeah the green one people talk about this a lot i'm not so sure about it This is one of the most world famous things. I can't not get this. This is like one of the main things I wanted to try. Everything but the bagel seasoning blend and people just use it on everything, but apparently it's good on avocado toast, which is something that I'll use it for or try it on. Over here should be the cookie butter, which is also world famous. Oh, here it is. We got cookie butter and then crunchy cookie butter. I feel like the crunchy one would be better for this. Like, but what even is this? I heard people talk about it, but like, what are you supposed to do with it? Get one, figure it out, I guess. That I wanted to get. You think that looks light? What you gonna put the cookie butter on? Uh, I don't know. What do you? I don't know. What are you supposed to do with half of these things? Cookie Honestly, butter. I'm lost. I don't know the Trader Joe's culture. I know you're supposed to get the cookie butter. I don't know what you're supposed to put the cookie butter on. Okay, so I bought hundred dollars worth of stuff, which honestly I thought it was gonna come out to be a lot more, just based on like how much stuff I got and the type of stuff. <laughs> Something, somebody popped up right there and scared me, but pretty affordable. You know more about grocery prices and stuff than I do. Oh, <laughs> but it's it's affordable, right? Like you kept mm -hmm. saying, like compared to other stores that you shop at, like yeah, a lot of things are more affordable than at like your regular grocery store, especially like pre prepared, pre prepared. Pre yeah, like I feel like whenever you shop for like vegan, dairy free, pre packaged, pre prepared meals it's always like a lot more expensive but here like the prices were a lot lower but anyways we're gonna be doing a series well i well my mom said she want to taste some of the stuff too but mostly i am going to be doing a series of taste tests probably over the next few days because i'm not going to eat all this stuff in one day but the first thing that i want to try right now is this random thing that caught my eye milk chocolate covered peanut butter milk chocolate covered peanut butter pretzels 
I'm not, this is not dairy free, but I just want to try this. First taste test. Wait. They're like little nuggets, little chocolate nuggets. But I do like chocolate too, but it's peanut. Let's shake it. It's yeah, it's like those peanut butter pretzels that I get. I get like peanut butter pretzels that look like this, but they don't have chocolate on the outside. So this is like an upgrade. Dink it and sink it. Mm. COVID night. <laughs> it tastes like if you had a Reese's cup with a pretzel in it. I mean, it's peanut butter, chocolate, and pretzels. It's good. How can it not be good? It's good. 10 out of 10 for this so far, but. I'm gonna go home and taste test a few more things today and then probably some tomorrow and then probably some the next day because we got a lot of different stuff. Okay, so back home now, let's do a little haul and then I'm gonna taste test some of like the easy to taste test right now type of stuff. First thing we got is the um, cinnamon swirl bread. This Pretty much, like a majority of the stuff I got is Trader Joe's brand. So my mom recommended this. Um, it looks nice and thick <laughs> to make like some French toast with or something. I think that's what I'm gonna try with that. And then this was a TikTok re recommendation, the Trader Joe's Parmesan crisps. So they're just like crunchy. I think this is something we could just taste right now. Would you like to try one? They're breadsticks that have just been sprinkled with Parmesan and like baked. And the person on TikTok said that she likes it with this. This is the Trader, oh, not Trader Joe's, Trader Giatto's. I guess that's their Italian, his Italian brother. Giatto's? Giotto's? Uh, bruschetta, an Italian tomato topping with fresh garlic and fresh basil. Looks like this. <laughs> smells good. It smells very garlicky. Okay. Mm, mm. <laughs> what? It's, it's very crunchy. This is a good combo. It's like, it tastes like, you know, when you get mozzarella sticks and marinara, it's like the same vibe. So the peanut butter pretzels, where those go? That I tried in the car. These get two thumbs up from both of us. And these, this combo gets two thumbs up from both of us as well. Crunchy spec, speculose, speculose? Crunchy cookie butter. I got the crunchy one because it just sounded better to me. And my mom got these butter wafer cookies because she was like, you need something to put the cookie butter on. Little, yeah, waffle cone cookies is what it looks like. And the world famous cookie butter. I feel like maybe I have had this before. I've had this before, it's very sweet. It's with ginger, what does it say? Gingerbread and crushed biscuits. It was thick. Very thick. <laughs> it's gonna break this little cracker. I don't think this is a good combo. It's very thick. Mm. Mm. The cracker is good by itself. Mm, yeah, I have had this before actually. I remember now. It literally tastes like ground up. Those gingerbread, those thin gingerbread things that you used to buy. In the, in the can, gingerbread cookie things. If you ground up gingerbread cookies and turned it into a paste, that's literally what it tastes like. It's a good combo. I mean, I like it. it's good, okay. Good ratings for both, ooh, two thumbs up for both of these products. So far, so good, haven't had anything. I mean, we haven't tasted everything. I'm gonna have to make some meals with some of the stuff. The Trader Joe's chocolate hummus. This is also a very recommended thing. I, I definitely have not had anything like this before. It's literally cooked chickpeas. So garbanzo beans, sugar, water, cocoa, oil, salt, literally chocolate hummus. And apparently you just used it like a chocolate dip. Like they said, dip strawberries in it. Okay, I'm gonna try it with the little wafer cookie from before. I don't know about this, I don't know. It smells like, it literally just smells like cocoa powder. Mm. I need to try it by itself, cause this is, I need a spoon. It just smells like chocolate frosting. I got a little tasting spoon. It just tastes like pure chocolate to me. I wanna see what it tastes like by itself with no sweet cookie with it. This is literally chocolate frosting. You don't taste any weirdness to it. No weird hummus chick, it's literally chocolate, like, 
Who knew? You literally, I, I feel like you could put this on cupcakes and people would never know. Okay, this is surprisingly very good. Would recommend the chocolate hummus. All right, so I think the last quick thing that we're gonna try right now is the um, Bomba peanut snacks. I think it's like peanut Cheetos. It just says peanut paste, corn grits, palm oil, and salt. This is another thing that I heard off of TikTok. I have no idea what this even is. Like puffed, and it just smells like peanut butter. Straight up. Here. <laughs> I love peanut butter, but. I'm not even like a huge, huge peanut or peanut butter person, but. It tastes like peanut power foodie. It's good. Actually, cause it's kind of salty. It's literally like peanut Cheetos. That's like peanut butter Cheetos. Worth the hype? I think yes. so. And it's really simple ingredients. Peanut paste, corn grits, palm oil, salt. That's it. I mean, obviously if you're allergic to peanuts, but there's no other bad ingredients. And the TikTok specifically said, these are super addicting. Are. Like you wanna keep healthy. eating, they're super airy. Two thumbs up on the Bomba snacks. The rest of this stuff, I think I got some stuff like for dinner, for lunch, for dessert. So over the course of the next few days, we will try it. So now my mom is trying the super thin crust tomato something something pizza that she picked out for herself. It's super thin. Just pop this in the oven for a couple minutes. And she's also got her Trader Joe's $2 wine. Two bucks, check. And this other one. Are Trash you gonna try both of them and compare? No. Should I? Yeah. I'll, I'll was it a price that. difference between those two? This one was $2.99. And this one was $3.99. So this is the official two buck chucks and this is just Charles shop. This is the cheaper one. Mm. Thoughts? <laughs> I'll drink it in a pinch, but it would not be my preferred red blend. <laughs> Your face is saying it's horrible. Maybe I'll try a bite of pizza and see. That's really good. Barely any crust. What kind of cheese? Brie and something. You don't like it? It wasn't what I was expecting, cause I, I'm not a fan of other, I'm not even barely a fan of cheese anymore, honestly. This one smells worse. <laughs> smells worse? No. <laughs> that it's one's like worse? Watered down. Oh, it's made with organic grapes. 2017 what? was not a very good year. <laughs> okay, great. so overall, no to the cheap wines at Trader Joe's. Yes to the pizza, according to my mom. Mm, not really a yes, according to me, though, because the cheese is a little, it's brie. It's not like mozzarella. So mm. it's not what you would expect from this. But your the typical tomatoes pizza. taste really fresh, don't you think so? Yeah, it's not bad. I can tell that, like, the quality and the flavor, like if you like brie, you're gonna like this. Like it's a good pizza. It's just not my preferred flavor profile and I shouldn't be eating it anyway, so that's fine. All right, so it's a bit later now. So for dinner, we are going to be taste testing the Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi, gnocchi, <laughs> um, which is normally I think served with like some sort of cheesy type sauce or something, I'm not sure. This is a cauliflower version of, this is normally made out of potato. There's different ways you can cook them with sauce or sprinkled with cheese. It suggests that you saute them in a pan with some butter and some water. That's what I'm gonna do. You can also just microwave them apparently, but it says for best results to saute them. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then they said that this vegan kale, cashew and basil pesto is good. So, oh no, I'm a little picky about my pestos. And vegan pestos are kinda, kinda iffy. But we're gonna try this. I'm gonna just do a small portion with this to taste this pesto with it. Um, if not, we have, you know, since we already tried this and I already know that this is good, I feel like this might be a good alternative to pair with it as well. So we just gonna see. Ooh, they look a little gummy. All right, they're starting to crisp up and look a little bit, okay. 
Okay, they're sticking together a little bit, but they're starting to get a little bit more golden brown and less gummy, looking a little bit more like the package. Okay, here's my cauliflower gnocchi with vegan kale pesto, first off. It's hot, so. Smells like pesto. Smells like some good Italian food. It's a little tart. There's like a little tense, there's a little tinge of tartness that I wasn't expecting, but overall it's pretty good. Like it overall tastes like a pretty basic pesto. You're not tasting a whole bunch of kale or cashew or weird flavors. You're just tasting pesto, you know, the basil flavor. It's pretty good. And the gnocchi itself, I feel like I'm saying it wrong. I don't, this is not something I normally eat anyway. It's a little gummy, a little chewier than I would think it should be. I don't know, but it's not bad at all. I don't have much to compare it to because I don't eat the regular, like authentic or traditional kind, but the flavor is good. Okay, let's taste it with the other sauce or whatever. It's good. It's good. I was a little nervous, but it's good. I'm gonna say it's the best thing I've eaten, but I can definitely finish all of this. I'll eat it. I can consider purchasing it again. I give it a thumbs up. And I feel like this is also something that Zaya would like too. And she's gonna have to like it because that's what I made for dinner tonight. So <laughs> we about to finish eating all of this. Okay, so Zaya's gonna try it. She's never had this before. It's hot. This is called gnocchi. Can you say that? Yuki. <laughs> it's made out of potatoes and cauliflower, which is a vegetable. Oh, be careful. Keep it on your fork when you bite it. What do you think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. You like it? Good. Okay, so I have told Zaya that I have a special treat for her. We are going to be trying two things actually, because I have the strawberry mochi from Trader Joe's and the Trader Joe's Gone Bananas Dark Chocolate Covered Banana Slices. These are two things that I've just heard about all over the internet in general, no specific place. These I think are, are a good thing for me to eat because they shouldn't have like too much dairy to it, but these are definitely, uh, they're gluten free though but it's definitely dairy because it's ice cream. But I got this mostly for Zaya because look how cute the package is. She's never had any either one of these things before, oh, so we're I getting her. One. You want this? You don't want the pink one? I got this one for you. Well, we're gonna try both. It's actually for both, but I mainly got this one for you. But you can try both. First, oh wow. Cute little pink buns. So it's like, what is it again? It's rice dough with strawberry ice cream in the inside. Just take a little bite. What does it taste like? It tastes like squishy strawberry. Tastes like squishy strawberry? Is it good? Mm -hmm. Let me take a little nibble. I don't want a whole one. You didn't even get to the ice cream part yet. You just got the, uh, the outside dough. Ooh! <laughs> That's not the texture that I was expecting for some reason. A lot of these things, I've never had, period, from any brand, from any store, including this. You like it? Okay, two thumbs up. Thumbs up, okay. So strawberry mochi, super good. Now, I was mostly interested in the bananas. Let's see. Here, you wanna taste the chocolate one? Dark chocolate covered banana slices. They just look like that. What do you think? It's good. It's good? What does it taste like? It tastes almost like regular chocolate. It tastes like regular chocolate? Mm -hmm. It's chocolate and bananas. Which one do you like better, the strawberry mochi or the chocolate banana? 
Which one's better? Chocolate banana. You like the chocolate banana better? Wow, these are really good. I mean, it's pretty simple. If you like bananas, if you like dark chocolate, you put it all together, this is really good. Thumbs up for me on both of these. All right guys, so it is the next morning. I'm gonna be trying a few more of the Trader Joe's finds. I have a mixture of stuff here. First thing I wanna try is the spiced chai black tea concentrate that I picked up. This was not necessarily recommended by anybody specific or any specific like TikTok or anything. This is just something that I saw. I really like chai tea, so I wanted to try this. The one that I was using before, I think it's the Tazo brand or whatever. It, I don't know, it's really actually not that good. So I was gonna see if this one is better. So I've got my glass here with two pumps of the vanilla syrup that I like to use. This just basically says mix one part concentrate to two parts milk. So I'm just gonna do like to there, maybe a bit more. Okay, <laughs> I just woke up, but let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. If you like chai, I would recommend this. All right, so next up, I'm gonna be making some avocado toast just with the regular bread and avocado that I already had. Um, but I'm making avocado toast because people recommended to put these two Trader Joe's finds on avocado toast. These both can be used on several different things, several different recipes, but um, the chili onion crunch is apparently really good on avocado toast, as well as the infamous everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend. Got my handy dandy avocado tool. Still using this, by the way. <gasps> wow, perfect avocado. Bam, twist and pop it into the trash. And then the fun part. Du, 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 du. Perfectly sliced avocado. All right, so I feel like I gotta at least have a base layer of seasoning on the avocado toast. So I'm gonna put salt and pepper on both, just like a little bit. Go light with the salt, because I don't know how salty either of these things are, but then I'm gonna take the bagel seasoning and do that on one of them. I don't know if people go light or heavy or what, but I'm gonna do a medium amount. And then I'm gonna take the chili onion crunch. Ooh, it's super oily. It's like just a whole layer of oil on the top. It look good though. Drizzle this. I don't know if this is super spicy. I have no idea. So let me just do a little bit like that. Got my to- oh! Got my toast this is. Let's do the everything bagel seasoning toast first. Let me get a good a good bite. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's sesame seeds, sea salt, dried garlic, dried onion, black sesame seeds, and poppy seeds. So you do taste the garlic and the onion, which is something, I would normally put garlic powder and onion powder on my avocado toast anyway. I wouldn't normally put sesame seeds, but it's a nice little crunchy addition. I'm not mad about it. So it tastes a lot like, you know, how I would normally season something like this anyway. It's kind of just already all put together for you. They should make a spicy version of this with red pepper flakes in it or something. That would be really good. But this is definitely good. I could definitely see why people sprinkle this on everything because it's just a good flavor combo. That seems like it would just be good on everything, so. <laughs> I see what the hype is about. Let me cleanse my palate for the other piece of toast with my chai, which is delicioso if I did not stress that enough. So far, Trader Joe's is really living up to the hype. I did not think that I was gonna like all this stuff this much. Chili onion crunch. Okay, so the ingredients are olive oil, dried onions, dried garlic, dried red bell peppers, crushed chili peppers, toasted dried onions, sea salt, natural flavors, paprika. So far, like a lot of the Trader Joe's stuff has like really simple ingredients, like nothing crazy, nothing like artificial for the most part, so that's good. But yeah, so this is basically just a whole bunch of seasonings and peppers in an olive oil mix. So what could, like how can, I mean, let's just see. <clears throat> it's not bad. It's really not too spicy. It's like a medium spice level, at least for the amount that I put on. It's not bad, it tastes like it, what it is, you know? Simple ingredients, seasonings, peppers. You can taste the bell pepper, which I'm kind of weird. I don't really like the flavor of bell pepper specifically. I like peppers, I like spicy stuff, 
but I don't love the flavor of bell pepper. So for that reason, I wouldn't choose to slather this all over everything. Um, I would definitely choose this bagel seasoning over this, especially for avocado toast. I just don't really like love the flavor combo, but it's good and I can definitely see how this could be used in a lot of different ways for a lot of different recipes. Next up, we have the cinnamon swirl bread that my mom recommended. Um, I'm just gonna toast up like one piece of this just so Zaya and I can do a little taste test. I feel like, ooh, she thick. Ooh, she, woo, what? This is not without, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's falling apart. I wasn't expecting it to actually be like completely swirled up like this. It's like a little cinnamon bun. And she thick and she stinky and she look flavorful. She doesn't really smell that strong of cinnamon or anything, but it looks, it looks sweet and good. So I feel like if you made French toast with this, it's probably gonna be good. A little bit of butter on toasted bread. Mmm. You like it? That's good, huh? This is literally like a cinnamon roll. Like it's thick and it has that cinnamony like paste in between the layers. And with it being toasted with butter on top, it literally tastes like a Cinnabon. Like it's like decadent. It's not just bread. This ain't just your ordinary bread. This is a dessert. What do you think? It's yummy. Thumbs up. All right, so the next few items we're gonna be trying for lunch now, it's been a few hours, are the Chinese style pork buns, which I saw all over the internet, namely TikTok. I saw multiple TikToks about these. Um, this was just like a random pickup. This is just pre-prepared heat and serve grilled chicken, which I can tell you already just looks better than the uh, one that they have at HEB where I normally shop. The chicken, I've even tasted it and it just was not good. This just looks like a better, higher quality, like pre-prepared grilled chicken, which is always nice to have on hand. And then this salad dressing, which I saw multiple like TikToks and videos about this avocado green onion dressing. So I'm gonna be doing a salad with this and then just tasting one of these on the side. I'm just gonna heat a few slices of this grilled chicken through on a pan. I could definitely just microwave it. I mean, you can also eat it cold for a salad, but even for salads, I don't like cold chicken. <laughs> All right, got my salad mix, which was just from H-E-B. I'm gonna put my chicken, avocado, green, onion, lemon juice, chives, basil, and garlic. It's vegan. So let's just drizzle some of this. Ooh, that was kind of a lot. I always put fresh cracked pepper on all of my salads. Okay, so got my salad with the Trader Joe's chicken and the Trader Joe's salad dressing. I've got my cute little Chinese pork bun. It said to just steam it in the microwave with a damp paper towel, so that's what I did, and it's so cute and little. So I'm gonna cut into this first. Oh, okay, smells good. I'm not gonna lie, the texture does already seem a bit off from microwaving it. You probably would get a way better texture by actually steaming it, but I'm lazy, so. Mm. Uh. Yeah. Texture is not good in the microwave, not good. Take the time to steam it if you're gonna get these. Flavor is good, like the filling is a sweet pork filling with just a simple doughy outside. I can see why people like these, but yeah, I don't recommend microwaving them, so. <laughs> Overall, these don't really excite me. I would give it half a thumbs up for these, Mainly, I'm interested in seeing what this dressing really tastes like. So I'm just gonna taste a little bit of the dressing on my fork. It mostly tastes like a lime pesto because there's a lot of basil in it. It's good, I mean, it just tastes like exactly what it is. It has very simple ingredients listed on the front of it. You taste the basil, you taste the lime, you taste the avocado, it's good. If you like those ingredients, you're gonna like this. Is it the best, like my new favorite dressing? No, um, I'm not sure why it has so much hype. <laughs> The chicken, chicken is good. Chicken is very good, especially with the way that I heated it up on the stove. You would have thought I would have just cooked this chicken myself today. And that's a good thing to have, to be able to, if you're like me, lazy, if you're a single person, if you're just on the go, if you just wanna have like chicken set aside to be able to throw it in a salad, throw it in a taco, throw it in a quesadilla, throw it in whatever, a pasta. There's so many things you can do with grilled chicken or you need grilled chicken for a recipe and sometimes it's nice to just have it 
likes it. Bougie, no. And sometimes it's nice to just have it pre-prepared, ready to heat up or ready to just throw in whatever you're doing. So I like the idea of being able to have this and throw it in salads and stuff like that. Yes, I could just buy raw chicken and grill it myself, but that takes longer. Um, so it's nice to know where I can get some good pre-prepared grilled chicken. Cause like I said, the one that I tried from HEB was not good. So I'm glad to have this resource available to me. <laughs> Chicken gets uh, two thumbs up from me. Pork bun gives like half a thumbs up. Salad dressing gets like one thumbs up. Y'all, very important intermission side note. These um, Bomba peanut snacks with the chocolate hummus that we already tasted, get you a peanut snack. Dip it in the chocolate hummus. It tastes exactly like Cocoa Puffs. This is a fire combo fire combo go out and try it now if you take nothing from this video take this it does not look appetizing in my hands right now but i promise you you hear that crunch fire combo right here bomba snacks and chocolate hummus get it while it, the getting's good <laughs> So it is now dinner time. I have Papa and Zaya on the rest of the table that you can't see, but just for the purposes of this video, since it's been me and Chef Tony's opinions this whole time, I thought we'd give just our opinions on the lovely Trader Joe's meal that we have here, a little hodgepodge of a steak. We actually seasoned one steak with her favorite seasoning, which is what? Text Joy steak seasoning. Text Joy, and then the other one with the um, coffee garlic, which sounds kind of weird to me, from Trader Joe's. So we have two separate steaks to try. So let's see, I'm gonna taste your normal one first. Good, yes, I like it, familiar with it. Is the other one from Trader Joe's better? Let's see. I like it, I tried it. Oh. I tried it on first. You, you, think, it's, you think it's better? No, I like it, I just said I like it. Oh. But which one's better? I think they're just different. Which do one do you like, Papa? Coffee one's good though, and I know what Tex Joy tastes like. Mm -hmm. I don't mm. like the coffee one. You don't? Why? It's less flavorful, and the flavor that is there is not that good <laughs> to me. So for me, I would get the steak rub a thumbs down, stick to the Tex Joy, or whatever you normally use. You give it a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Can I have it? You can take it home. I don't need it. Okay, then we have the fried rice, which was a Chef Tony recommendation. We put shrimp in it, jazz it up. It's good, it, I mean, tastes like fried rice. We know what that tastes like. What I like about it is it's really quick. It's in a bag and you can cook it in the microwave or on the stove in like less than five minutes at whatever meat you like. So, I mean. Yeah, like for a, something that's like frozen and quick to heat up, it tastes really good. Yeah, it's like a five minute meal, dinner, complete got vegetables in it, you put your meat in it. So this gets a thumbs up, two thumbs up from me. And then we have the, Mex I've actually already had this before. I, I know it's good. <clears throat> Another pre-packaged frozen thing, Mexican style corn. It's good, I've had it before. Again, just like the fried rice, for it being something really quick that you could just, that all comes together <laughs> pre-made in a frozen pack. It's really good for what it is. Thumbs up on that. And then, the last thing on the plate that we actually have to taste test that I am nervous about, I feel like my reputation is on the line. This was a random thing that I picked out. This is a vegan mac and cheese. Just literally saw it in the store and decided to pick it up. But vegan, anything with vegan cheese is very hit and miss, usually nasty. So you can usually tell by smelling it. This actually smells good though. Like it doesn't have the smell. Mm. It's good. Wait, hold on. You had me psyched out. I was scared to eat it, but it's okay. Did you try your mac and cheese? It's good. It does not taste vegan. It doesn't have. I was scared to try some. Let me try some. You didn't even put it on your plate. No. I was like, I don't know. It doesn't taste vegan. It's a little. I think they put nutmeg in it, which you you do put in mac and cheese, but they put a little too much. I think. Yeah, but the consistency. It it tastes creamy. It tastes cheesy. Mm. Like three thumbs up on the mac and cheese. And that's it. 
So yeah, guys, those were all of the Trader Joe's must-haves that I wanted to try. I would definitely say some of my most favorites that I tried in this video that also surprised me the most were the chocolate hummus and the vegan mac and cheese. So definitely go out and try those things if you have a Trader Joe's in your area. Comment down below what are your favorite foods from Trader Joe's that I should check out. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.